Hi, I'm Peter Nybor, and I work with Livid. And here's the stuff that I've been working on with Max. Uh, we've got a VJ app that's extensible. Uh, I've got some simple examples and a dev kit that'll help people learn how to work with media and do video mixing um, and extend it to however they want. And then uh, Livid also makes hardware. And this is our prototype of our soon to be released OM64 that I've pulled apart. You can see inside we do all our own circuit design and build it all in Austin. And it's all MIDI controllable, USB powered. And there's lots of Max examples on how to hack it and how to make all the interfaces and instruments you want with it. Okay. Hi, my name is Brad Garten, and I'm here showing off the Manta, which I have virtually nothing to do with. I, I wrote the object for Max MSP, but it was uh, designed and built by one of my students, Jeff Snyder. And it's basically a, a really large sort of capacitance sensing surface that allows all kinds of touch sensitivity. And um, I was able to hook it to a physical model of an electric guitar and had great fun. Um, Subcycle. Um, we're actually, our, I'm uh, playing with uh, the idea of uh, controllers, mo uh, controlling multiple sort of uh, characteristics of sound at one time. Uh, right now, you're not hearing, uh, well, Basically, there's uh, something like a looper that I've been developing for years, but um, you're not hearing uh, the rhythm right now. I don't know if you can actually hear this or not, but but there's sort of like a, a culmination of factors that might start to become uh, poetic or interesting in combination. So there's a subtle uh, gesture that I'm trying to maybe capture here that um, that I find compelling and nice. Uh, and a lot of times it has to do with drum beats just because I love programming drum beats. And that's something I've been doing for a long time. So um, I don't know, you can probably get into the nuances of this at some point. <laughs> Here in the Expo 74, and uh, I'm showing air. Um, basically, it's a controller which have uh, four sliders. And if you can zoom on on this area, can you see the numbers running here? Okay. So basically, it's uh, looking for um, the color of my finger and um, actually tracking how high or how um, wide um, is my finger. And uh, then is a uh, Basically, what I'm doing with this right now is uh, sending um, to MIDI. You can see it over here. Um, I'm sending MIDI to live to actually control a filter. So, uh, as you see right now, I'm controlling the HZ. Hello. My name is Barry Through, and I am from Keith McMillan Instruments, and I'm here with the Cabo, which is our sensor bow. It's Bluetooth wireless for violin, viola, cello, and bass. And this sends multiple parameters like acceleration and grip pressure and how hard you're playing to the computer via Bluetooth. And you can control aspects of processing on your instrument surround sound, looping with yourself, um, and output MIDI and OSC to other applications, all from your familiar instrument. Okay, um, uh, my name is Scott Wardle, and um, I work with Miss Pinky, and this is the turntable, turntable controller for Max MSP that uh, gives you turntable position of the needle and velocity. And um, I'm mapping turntable velocity to the speed and direction of a remote control car, which is over there. I don't know if you want to pan over, but as I turn the turntable back, the car moves backwards, or it should. Forwards, the car moves forwards. Oop. There we go. Hi, uh, 
I'm Michael Spishinsky, and my application here is using Max as a temperature controller, and specifically in this case for sous vide. Um, sous vide is a method of cooking where you vacuum pack food in a bag and, um, and cook it at a very precise and probably pretty low temperature. Right now I have eggs in here, and they're at 148 degrees Celsius, which I think is 64.5, sorry, 148 degrees Fahrenheit, which I think is 64.5 degrees Celsius. And Max is doing all the work to keep this pot at exactly that temperature. There's a, there's a temperature sensor here in a copper tube, and it's running into Max, and then my make controller kit here is triggering a relay to turn on and off a hot plate. And maybe you can see this green light when it's on, maybe not. But it's, it's parsing it every quarter second or so it's checking, and it's parsing it. And the temperature has been at 148 really regularly for an hour and a half now. And the advantage is that um, one of the ways cooking works is that certain proteins change their form at certain temperatures. And ideally, you want the proteins you want to change to change, and you don't want anything else to happen. So these eggs are at exactly the right temperature to make this wonderful consistency. And they're never going to get any hotter because it's only at this temperature. So that's what I'm using this for. And it's got a lot of other benefits. I'm going to use it for my smoker in the summer. And I'm hoping to brew some lager at a cold temperature also maybe in the summer.